Hey there, fellow air gaugers. Uh, well, I've got some good news on the 57 here. Uh, so we had one of our uh, members come out today uh, with a uh, ultrasound machine, and uh, he crawled into the uh, firebox to take a look in there, and, and we were going to take the ultrasound readings uh, of inside the uh, inside the boiler to evaluate it for uh, return to operation. So, uh, so I'll tell you, show you here on the uh, boiler drawing. So the boiler drawing says that the plate thickness should be three eighths of an inch. Three eighths there should be three eighths there. Okay. Well, he went in, took some ultrasounds, and look what we found. 507, 509, 510. That's not three eighths of an inch. That's half inch. Did some on the uh, the other side of the, the um, four four ninety four, five oh four, five oh five. That's half inch. That's not three eighths. Hmm. Interesting. And so looking at this seeing that uh, this weld here that weld does not look like the quality of weld that's on 58 or the 60 that looks like something done in the field uh, so what we have determined is that this boiler got a new firebox at some point and instead of putting the 3 8 inch plate the uh, the heroes over at the JNL Pittsburgh Works decided to put half inch plate in, and um, there's even up in the front corner. You can't see it now, but there's up in the front corner. Uh, we found some uh, mill marks, some lettering, and it says USS H Firebox, and underneath her the number is fifty five thousand, and above it is a six digit number. Well, USSH stands for U.S. Steel Homestead Works. Firebox stands for Firebox Quality Sheet or Plate. 55,000 is the tensile strength, and the five-digit, the other five-digit number would have been a probably a heat number. So, so from that, we're figuring that yeah, the firebox was replaced. They put half-inch plate in instead of the three-eighths giving this locomotive probably the thickest firebox. This is probably the most overly built 200 PSI boiler in existence. Um, which for us is absolutely excellent because that means no major boiler work this thing needs um, from, from what we're looking at. Uh, and no major boiler work that it's going to need before we can, you know, put it in service. We're going to pull. Um, we're going to we're going to pull some of the uh, the various parts out of the smoke box and take a look at the bottom of the front tube sheet. Initially, take a few of the uh, tubes out of the bottom there to take a look at it because that might be the one area where we have to do work, like we did on 58. Um, which is, uh, if you can't see it or not, but down in the front here, um, there's a lot of corrosion. Now that, that sheet was a half inch thick to begin with. Well, if there isn't a lot of corrosion, you know, to the point where we'd have to put a patch in there, if we can still reuse that tube sheet, then it might be a matter of just replacing tubes in this thing. Um, and then going through, of course, and, you know, cleaning up everything else and, and taking it apart and putting it back together. But it may, initial indications are that we may not have to do any major boiler work on this locomotive. Um, which, geez, that, uh, that's going to be huge. Save a lot of money, save a lot of time. So, yeah, it's looking very good that we'll be able to get 57 operational again. Um, so, 
yeah i'm i'm rather excited on that that was uh quite an uh unexpected surprise to uh to find that so i thought i would just share that with everyone here and uh it's darn cold this weekend so i'm gonna go home and warm up i don't it's supposed to be third or fourth day of spring it's not looking like spring around here i'll tell you that <laughs> all right everyone take care see you later